Dear friends, we're here today to talk the Bible. The Bible of Michigan Canoeists. Or anybody who canoes Michigan. If you are such a person, you probably know of this book. If you don't, then you're certainly you've missed out on this institution of a book. First uh, published in, what was it, June or July of 1986. And this re revision came out um, oh, around 2000 or something. Let's see, I think this version is 2005, but this revision... First printing of the revised edition was 2001. That was pretty close. The revised edition just has different maps and uh, supposedly upgraded maps. I'll talk about that in a sec. The disappointment is they didn't add any rivers. And the choice of rivers in this book has always been a little bit controversial. There's uh, some, you know, there's some, a lot of people have a lot of rivers that they'd like to see added to this book. Uh, also, some of the ones in here are kind of eh. So, a little disappointing they didn't add any rivers to it. The maps generally are better, but not universally. In fact, there's been a few times where I've gone back to the old book for a detail I didn't find on the new map. Uh, I'm going to use the Pine River for an example. Here's the new map, Pine River. It's all one. Did they do it all in one? Yeah. All in one. Of course, the Pine River map is so pretty well established. There's lots of uh, brochures and maps you can get of the pine. Is that better than that? Eh, not really. Pretty equivalent. So it's a little more detail up here, which is well needed. You see I've drawn in some detail here. The detail they got here is, well, partially right. You see I've drawn actually more detail in. This is actually more accurate than, well, no, I guess it's the same thing. Anywho, they don't show Sadler Road through here, though, which is kind of a, on either map, it's kind of a glaring error. Anywho, that's pretty much the way it is. Their maps are mostly pretty similar. I don't really see that they're all that superior in this book. There's been times where, like I said, I had to go back to the old map to get some kind of information. The maps are more equivalent than superior. What would really be nice in this book would be if they could uh, get the rights to a real map. You know copyright to a real map, even if they had to have a second version with uh, you know, some county maps or whatever in it, section maps included or something. You can never have enough maps though, especially if you're going to be canoe camping, you know, then you really need to know what you're doing. For the daytime canoeist, then uh, you don't really need anything above this, I suppose, except for good street maps. Good county maps, you know, are always, county maps are indispensable if you can get them. So the other thing they changed in this book was the length of the trips. And it's still kind of sketchy in that regard. They greatly lengthened some of these uh, expected you know trip lengths in this book. Because in this book some of them are just like Olympic canoe, two Olympic canoeists, you know, in a solo canoe with nothing in it paddling as fast as they can for dear life um, could make those numbers they give whereas and there's a lot of variables too there's, actually one time in here we beat their time by quite a way and my friend was upset with me because we couldn't camp that night well we could have but we were going to do two days in the span of the Indian River in the UP and uh, in this book, it sounded like it was, you know, it was a long, slow slog for them because they had a lot of obstructions. Well, in between when this was written and, then, and when we did the Indian up north, they uh, had cleared the river and Olivery had started serving it. So when we did it, we went through what we thought was going to take us two days and 
a short day basically and got back to our car. My friend was all mad at me. We're in the camp. He wanted to camp in the swamp so badly. Instead we camped on a beautiful lake, but he still was miffed about it. Anyways, this book, you know, will give you the gradients. I just talked to a guy in the river the other day, and I'm pretty sure I gave him the wrong gradient for the uh, Little Man of Steel. Let's look at the Little Man of Steel for a sec. L-M-N-O-P. I think it's 6 and 12. I think I told the guy wrong. Well, no, it is 14 feet per mile, 9 mile, 6 foot bridge. So that was right there. The rest of the river is pretty much 6 foot per mile or 4 foot per mile. I didn't know the bottom was that slow. The bottom section is actually real beautiful for a lazy summer day and a beautiful, beautiful float. So don't do what I did and stick papers in for all your different rivers. Pretty soon it stretches out the binding and your book cracks apart. Of course it's a pretty old book. I've seen a lot of wear. Both books are printed on paper. When I got this book in the mailbox, uh, they just curled it up and threw it in the mailbox and moisture had crept into it. And it was all warped up nasty. I, I thought it was going to be pretty much ruined. But I flattened it out in, uh, between two heavy things and it dried out nicely. But the nice of the paper in this book was a little bit less water. It's like a sponge if you get water out of it. Soaks up. It's nice heavy paper though on the other hand. It's not like some book today. Don't get it wet. This is the Indian River in the UP and it's a comparison for the different skills of the map maker. What is nice about the newer maps and they can only do more so in my book is they showed more of the uh, surrounding roads you know instead of putting a blank here it's a little bit bigger a little bit better use of the actually use the same amount of paper but it made a little better use. You know, if you have all this space, you might as well fill it with the other details so you know where these roads connect and such. Um, none of these maps really do enough of that for me. I'd like to see all the roads they can put on them, all the detail they can put on them. Anywho, this book, you know, has its faults, but it does tell you the gradient of each river. And it'll tell you the counties if you want to get the county maps. It'll give you start and end points of their trip. And a lot of times they're pretty conservative about where they start rivers. You can, some of these rivers, quite a bit of river upstream of where they start. Uh, gradient. Gradient's real important for the difficulty of the river. I really don't like doing, this river had some, had a real fast section that, most of it was faster than that I thought, oh well. 1-2. The main thing in this river is there's one, uh, I'm thinking of a different river actually. I'm thinking of the sturgeon, up the, up the UP sturgeon, not the Indian had a, was a lot faster than this. and had one uh, rapids in it. This is a calmer river. But yeah, this is the river that a friend and I did, I've only been in this once. And we did a big long section that they gave a lot of time on in the old book. It'd be interesting to compare the same times in this book. Um, yeah, I think they still have the long times. They may even lengthen them. I don't know. I'll have to look at that sometime. Figure out where I went and etc. Caution, you may want to paddle every river. Yeah, and reading this book, you may want to. It's a lot of, uh, you know, Jerry Dennis is a good writer. So that makes the, it interesting too. And they had a lot of photographs in here. Too bad they don't have more. Too bad they're not color. You know, it can always be better. The uh, biggest disappointment is they didn't add any rivers. But, eh. I guess they didn't want to, you know, change the scope of the book. Plus, they're older guys now, you know, they're not... They need to, uh... Someone needs to sponsor a couple 20-year-olds. You know, if they could get Jerry Dennis to get a little group together and, uh... I don't know, you have to have, like, a GoFundMe or something and... 
sponsor two two 20 year old guys to run around the state and canoe every possible inch of river they can and note it down and then let Jerry Dennis digest it with them and uh, you know, write a really revised version. That'd be my dream book. <laughs> Probably won't happen. Jerry Dennis, I'm sure, is a busy man. You can get this book just about anywhere. I've gotten got this copy from Barnes and Noble. Probably got both copies from Barnes and Noble actually. Um, you know, via the mail basically. But if you know, get the Barnes and Noble coupon they come out with every so often, and that's probably the cheapest way to get it. It's not often discounted, but it's an essential book for anyone canoeing Michigan rivers. Definitely must have.